So, ready for the second half. Six points the lead for the hot favourites. And what sort of discussion do you think has been going on, Miles, in the Southern dressing room? Uh, well, I had to be mild. I think that Jim Kelly has uh, yelled at some people, and you could use a stronger word that begins with a B, you know? And uh, hopefully the Solon Stars will come out and play accordingly. They are the team of the year, but up to now, the Bracklin, uh, Bracknell Pirates have taken them apart. Two more there for Steve Keenum. Lead down to four. What about Bracknell? Oh, they'll be pretty pleased with life, I suppose. I'm sure Jack Lehane's very pleased to be able to walk into a locker room against this powerful of club and only be down by six points and now four. We're playing right into Bracknell's hands, and it, I'm sure Jack reiterated the point that if they continue to play under control, that they'll be in good shape. TJ Robinson, a little bit awkward, fighting and getting it. Play on, says referee Richard Pierce. And there's Johnny Johnson, the rim, Andy Brown. Good hands from him. He whacks himself against the board and he's injured. Whoa. Oh, and a slam dunk there from Keenan. But Andy Brown is injured, the lead down to two, and there you see Andy Brown had a very big collision okay, stay, stay, with the stay. board there. That's They're real pain, down. that's They're real pain, you know. Got You've got to get hurt like that to really okay. understand it. When you start moving like that on the floor and grabbing your head, you know it's for real. Get some tape for me, yeah? He said, get a doctor and it holding his, I think it's his right ankle. He's in real pain. And that is vital. That is vital for uh, Bracknell because he has been the playmaker for the second half of the season, taking a lot of the fresher miles off Dan Calendrillo. You're right, Simon, but did you hear what he said? He said the, something about these things on the side of the court, the boards, and the fact is, is that that's how the injury took place. He ran up on the board. So the tape goes on. Andy Brown injured just a few seconds ago. This is a vital time for Bracknell. They fought back so well at the start of the second half. And they're now trailed by just two points. And here's the man who has been the key in Bracknell's resurgence in the second half. Here's the incident. Here's the replay. There it is. He went to place his foot down and actually landed on the wedge between the corner of the board and the floor. I've always wondered whether those... Uh, those boards were too close to the floor. And I think if you go on the continent to, to play in continental arenas, they've got the actual boards as a part of the barrier or the wall themselves. They're never around the, the end of the floor. So I think that's one of the danger points that I hope the association changes next season to protect the players. It's a terrible setback for Bracknell, just when it looked as if they might be taking command and pushing Solent all the way. But they kept fighting. We're going to join the action now with just over three minutes to go. Solent lead by nine points, 78 to Bracknell's 69. Tatum. TJ Robinson. Solent really fighting hard for the rebound. Look at that. Strength and aggression from Tony Watson. Stiller. He's played well, Sam Stiller. Hey, this kid can really play, and as we said earlier in the game, you know, he's just been sitting the bench too long. They gave up on him, and he's having to come to life tonight. And two more there from Calandrillo. And suddenly, the match comes alive again. Just five points down now, Bratnell. A terrible steal, that, as far as Solent were concerned. And two from Stiller, followed by two from Calandrillo. He's on four fouls, but Calandrillo has just under three minutes left to turn this game back again towards Bracknell. There's anybody who can do it, and there's another break for him. Johnson unusually misses a foul shot. But if anybody can do it, it's Calandrillo. They have got to find him, though, and have him make the plays. Johnson's experience coming good there. The lead up to six. Solent have 16 fouls against them. Bracknell are on eight fouls already. Here's Callum Driller. Look how they're marking him now. Stiller. Mistake from him. And, and Johnson it, gets it. His youth belied him there. That's, that's where you want the ball in the hands of a veteran. And uh, Sam gave the ball away. Oh, and then Robinson turns around and gives one away. For Logan. Two more for him. Back to five again. 
and Bracknell calling their men forward. Lead down to four, in fact. And Bracknell calling their men forward to press and press and press now as we go into the last two minutes of this semi-final and nearly another steal there. And they're doing everything they can to rub them of the ball. The Bracknell bench now standing up, roaring their team on. Tatum with an air ball. And it's sideline possession for Bracknell. What a comeback. Jim Kelly is going to call a timeout. What's interesting is he told them to take care of the ball. Now, here's going to be something interesting. He's changed them from playing zone to going to man-to-man. -to -man. Now, that may hurt them if Calandrillo gets the ball and he scores. No one's more capable of scoring than Calandrillo. So why would you want to play him man-to-man? -man? Calandrillo taking the ball up. Logan gets the rebound. Is there a foul there against Sonnen? Yes, it is. Foul against Carl Tatum, it's his fourth foul. And the excitement here at Wembley, which has been building for the last three or four minutes, is now at fever pitch. Just 90 seconds left. There's the man, Dan Calandrillo, behind Carl Tatum, the man who could change this game just for a final time. Four points of the deficit, Stiller with the ball. Big basket, big play. Oh, travelling foul against Sam Stiller. And that is a horrifying thing to happen to the kid. That might have nailed, put the nail in the coffin, because you want the ball in Calandrillo's hands. And that's ended up costing him a spot in the finals, possibly. You want the ball in his hands, you don't want the ball standing around outside. And a foul there against TJ. And he didn't like it. And I must admit, I thought he was a bit wrong there because Calandrillo was going where there didn't seem a space. But it's Robinson's fourth foul. It puts Solon on eight fouls. It was also a good foul because 56 seconds left to go. It gives the ball back to Bracknell, but it's going to eat up that clock. But for Logan gets two. And now it's back to four points. 45 seconds left. Johnson. Bracknell have got to attack the ball now, despite the fouls against them. But Solon is going to eat that clock out. Remember, they had 30 seconds to shoot and 14 seconds are still left. They're going to eat that 30-second clock out to the utmost. Johnson, good hands from Calandrillo and great balance. Sayers tries to foul him, so does Watson. But the man's almost unbeatable at the moment. Back he comes again, Calandrillo. Two more but there's only 10 seconds left. Two points of the deficit. Sam Stiller fouls. Now, here's a big question for the coach of Solon Stars. Does he take the ball out of bounds? He has that uh, option. He can either shoot or take the ball from out of bounds. What is he going to choose? I would take the ball out of bounds and eat it up to eight seconds. Calandrillo injured after his last two points. Fell badly on that injured hip. But what a game he's had. 34 points. Just eight seconds left now. The free throws to Tony Watson. Well, he's going to take the free throws. If he makes one, that really should be the game. The ball will go to Brackville, and so it would look not to foul. That there. looks like it's icing up the game. One more would make sure. This free throw now from Tony Watson would make sure of the game. If it's not, Bracknell going to look for a three-point play and try and take it into overtime. But Watson's got it, and surely now Solon are through to the final. Five seconds left. Here's Calandrillo. Two more for him. It's down to two. But the game is now over. And Solon are through to the final. 83 points to 81.